So how do we get these numbers in percentages, right? Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to do it for all three of these numbers and get a common language for all of them, okay? To get a fraction and turn it into a percentage, I'm going to take, and we'll do this with the first number. We'll do it with all of them, actually. I'm going to take a number, and I don't want to change the number. I just want to make it look a little bit different, just like here, right? So that I can work with it easier. So I'm going to multiply by 100%. Okay. Now hold on a second. We just said percent means out of 100. So what's 100 percent? It's 100 out of 100. 100 out of 100, you don't have to write this, but 100 divided by 100 is just 1. Right? So that's why I can do this. I'm multiplying by 1. I'm not changing the number. I'm just going to make it look a little bit different. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Just like we were looking at before in our review questions, how could I simplify what I've got over here? What could I do with this? Yes, just divide the 40 into like 4 and then the 100 into 10. Okay, so I've got a common factor. The first common factor we've identified is 10. So if I divide this by 10, I get 4. And if I divide this by 10, I just, I just lose a 0. In fact, I could have lost a 0 there as well. Okay, so that's good. Can I go any further? Yeah. <laughs> I, I can, right? Can I, can I do another cancelling out? Someone else can suggest something? Yeah. Uh, two and five. Okay, so I can divide by two. That leaves me with two here. And this will become a five. Right? Can I go any further than that or am I finished? I can go a little bit further, right? What can I do? Yes, Lynn. Yeah, good. We've been working with this, this pair of numbers so far. But this pair of numbers I can also work with, right? 34 divided by two is? 16. 17. 17, right? So cancel, cancel, I get left with the 17 at the top. So I've done a lot of crossing out all that kind of thing. Let me rewrite this a little later. On the left hand side, what's left of my fraction is 17. What's left of this thing over here? What have I got left? Five I've got 5%, right? Don't miss the percents. Times 5%. Okay, how are our multiples of 5? What are 17 fives? 17 fives. Mm. What's a nice, what's a, it's, it's 85, one of the easy ways, like think about strategies to this, I know we have calculators, but 25 is really easy to do, 20 of them is e equal to 100, and this is 3 fives less than that, which is 85, and don't forget, percent. Okay. So 34 out of 40 is 85 percent, right? Now I can do this same conversion with the other numbers, the other pair, can you do that for me? 36 out of 45? and 21 out of 25. This process here, I'll give you a bit of a head start on me, but I will do it on the board too, so we're clear. But can you convert 36 out of 45 into a percentage? And I'll remind you of the first step. It looks like that. Can you guys spend a couple of minutes to do that? Don't skip any working, and then get your percentages for all of them. Okay. For the first question, uh, 34 out of 40, if you simplify, will it become the same thing? If I simplify what? Uh, 34 and 40. Okay, um, I'm going to let you try. You see what you get? I'll show you. It's not hard to show. The number will look different. It won't be a percentage. And it still won't have the same denominator as any of these. So it ends up not being very useful for the purpose that I want. But it looks like all I can cancel is 2. Did you notice that? Yeah. So try out the other two fractions and see what you get. I'm going to do this one a little bit quicker because the process is the same as what we did last time. And for the last one, I'm going to show you a bit of a trick to do it, okay? Now, I know some of you have some answers, so I actually want to get the working first. What's something I can cancel? What's the, what's the biggest number I can cancel? Yeah, true. You can cancel 45 and 100. Okay, I can cancel between these two numbers. What should I divide by? Five. I, can, I can divide by 5, can't I, right? So if I divide this by 5, it leaves me with? 9. nine and I divide this by 5, which leaves me with 20. That's good. Can I do anything else? Um, no. Wait, 36 and 9. I can, right? This is the same thing that happened over here, right? It's like, oh, don't forget that numerator. Don't leave him alone. That's not fair on him. You can work with him as well. 36 divided by 9 is going to leave me with 4. Okay, now that you see what's going on, 4 times 20%, now this is a percentage. 80%, okay? So you can see, okay, clearly out of the first two I've done, 85% is better. 
Here comes the last one. Now, we could do it in exactly the same way that we just did the first two. And if you did it that way, thumbs up. You can confirm whether you got the right answer with me in a second. But I'm going to do something a little bit sneakier, right? I want you to notice percent, right? It means out of 100. That's literally what it means. So anytime I see out of 100, I can replace that and I can put a percent sign. Okay? So therefore, when I look at this, right, 21 over 25, if I can turn the denominator into out of 100 instead of out of 25, then I've got my percentage right away. Okay? What could I multiply the denominator by to turn it into 100? Yeah. So if you, you can times the denominator by 4 and then you have to times the numerator by 4 and then, um, then it becomes, then you get the percentage of percentage. Very good. So I don't want to change the number, right? So if you do something to the bottom, you've got to do it to the top. But multiplying by 4 is great because that means on the denominator, 25 times 4 is 100. What's my numerator? 84. So look, 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 look. This is 84 out of 100. But out of 100 is what percent means. So I write this as 84%. Okay? And you can use this to your advantage. This was not part of the question, but suppose I quickly said to you, uh, this is the colour I wanted, Suppose I said, hey, can you tell me 3 out of 10 as a percentage, right? This should be easy to do, right? What do I want the denominator to be? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go by a 10, by a 10. So this is clearly 30%, right? What about, say, 49 out of 50? How could I quickly turn that into out of 100? Yeah, I'm going to double the numerator and denominator. That's going to multiply by 2. This is... 98%. So you can see, I've got two techniques that I've got, and they're both really great. I can multiply like this by 100% and then cancel, cancel, cancel. Or if the number's nice, 25, 10, 50, what do all of these have in common? What are they? There's, it starts with F. Yeah. They're all factors of 100. They're all factors of 100. Super easy. I can just multiply by an easy number and get straight to my percentage. Okay? So any factor of 100, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20, 25, and on and on and on, you can just do this simple trick. Okay? That's it. I'm not lost. I'm like, um, If I double it, it's going to become 98, not 99. Mm -hmm. right? 49 times 2, 98. Okay? Now, I've just got one last thing to say before we get into the exercise. Trun, did you want to ask a question? I was just going to show the title percentages. Okay, so the title we're ready for, we're not quite ready, but it's close enough is fractions, which we've already seen before, percentages, <coughs> and yeah, I want one more. Decimals. Decimals. Now, I haven't written on them on the board yet, but let's get our calculator out because I've, I told you these will be useful for us, right? And the whole idea, we've just compared fractions and percentages at the moment. The whole idea is these are all the same numbers, but you just look at them a little bit differently. You look at them differently, and if you look at them differently, sometimes it's easier to do particular things, right? We've seen that for fractions and percentages. For decimals, with your calculator there, I want you to take any number that's on the board, any of the fractions or percentages you see, okay? Your calculator does in fact have both a fraction button, which you looked at, and it's got a percentage button as well. So, you guys already know where the fraction button is. Where's the percentage button? Do you see it? Yeah. Yep. You have to press shift and then... Yeah, it's above the left parenthesis, right? Aiden. Um, um, I know the answer for, um, for um, every percentage. Now. Excellent. Okay, well... Shh. Let's just quickly write down, because a lot of these are easy, right? If I say punch in 85% into my calculator, right? 85%, and then I hit equals... It should tell me 0 0.85. Okay? That's the decimal version. By the way, what number did 85% come from? Like we started with something else and then we got to 85%. It started with 34 over 40. So if you go to your calculator and you type in 34 divided by 40 and you hit equals, right? One of two things will happen depending on what kind of calculator you've got, right? It might tell you this. It might tell you that. Right? Hands up if your calculator is telling you that once you put the fraction in. Yeah, okay, thank you, hands down. Or alternatively, it'll take you straight there. Okay. Now, if you want to go back and forth, it's easy. 
there's a button on your calculator that looks like this. Okay? And you should have seen it before. So this translates back and forth between fractions and decimals. I don't know why it's not F and D. I don't know what the S is.